Hi, my name is Chris, and today I'm gonna to walk you through connecting your CP series loudspeaker to a subwoofer for applications in which you need a little extra low end extension. We're gonna cover a few scenarios that will help you select the best connection option for your setup. In our first example, we'll be connecting two CP series top boxes to a single subwoofer. Just connect the main left and right outputs from your mixer to the A and B input of the subwoofer first. Then use the parallel outputs located directly underneath each input to connect to the left and right CP series top boxes. This combines your signal in the subwoofer to mono, but allows your top boxes to remain fully stereo in a left-right configuration. It's important to connect your subwoofer first and then run that up to the CP tops, because the output on the CP series is post-gain. Using this method, you can control the levels of your subs and top boxes separately from their back panels without one affecting the other. In a two-sub application, simply connect your left and right outputs to their respective side. Plug into the subwoofer input A and use the parallel output to link to your CP top box. Now each sub and CP connected is running dedicated left and right stereo signal in your setup. Once you've got the loudspeakers wired up, you can set your voice contour. Both the default and dance voicings have an accompanying external sub variation, which activates an 80 hertz crossover on that particular contour. The default contour is the standard factory voicing of the loudspeaker and can be used with live music, program music, or instruments. The dance contour has some low frequency enhancement and mid-high clarity more suitable for program material like pop or electronic music. With the external sub variation selected, your system is optimized to work together with matched crossover. In this setup, you can adjust your gain separately from the top boxes with the same signal coming from the mixer. Our third example uses an auxiliary output. Simply take your left and right output from your mixer to your left and right top boxes. Then use an auxiliary output on your mixer to connect to your subwoofer. This gives you the ability to feed only the instruments that have low frequency into your sub and have separate volume controls for the subwoofer and top boxes at the mixer. You don't need to use two auxes if you have two subwoofers. Just connect the first one normally and connect the second sub to the parallel output of the first. In this setup, you still want to engage the crossover to optimize the system to work together. This is a little bit more of an advanced setup, but will give you separate control of both the subs and tops individually. Now that you've got the system wired up and your contour selected, adjust your gain as needed and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.